Welcome to this video about the BMC Patrol for True Sight Self Monitoring KM. This video will show you how to easily monitor the health of your True Sight components by using the Self Monitoring KM's predefined policies. You will learn how to import into the True Sight console and configure the Self Monitoring KM's predefined policies. Using these policies, you can see how the TrueSight Presentation Server, or TrueSight Infrastructure Management Server, is consuming CPU capacity, memory, disk space, and many other component parameters that can affect the health of these components. In short, the self-monitoring KM's predefined policies act as templates that enable you to quickly add monitoring solutions for the TrueSight Presentation Server, TrueSight Infrastructure Management Server, and the presentation server's Java process and Elasticsearch service. Using these predefined policies means you will spend less time setting up monitoring policies. Before we begin, be sure that you have already downloaded the base or extended repository and imported the repository into TrueSight. For more detailed instructions, see Importing the Infrastructure Management Repository. It is also necessary to disable any existing native monitors. The native monitors continue to collect data even if the self-monitoring or any other CAM is being used for self-monitoring. See Disabling Existing Native Monitors for instructions on checking if any native monitors are enabled and how to disable them. You should understand the difference between the base repository and extended repository. In general, when you import the base repository, it includes operating system KMs plus predefined policies for these operating system KMs. The base repository includes Linux and Windows systems KMs and corresponding predefined policies for the self-monitoring of TrueSight components on Linux or Windows operating systems. In the TrueSight interface, use the full repository with, pre with predefined packages and policies option to import the base repository. When you import the extended repository, it includes an additional policy to monitor the TrueSight Presentation Server's Java process and Elasticsearch service. In the TrueSight interface, use the full repository option to import the extended repository. Currently, the extended repository is not supported by the full repository with predefined packages and policies option, and its policies need to be imported using the following CMA policy migration utility. If you downloaded the extended repository, you must complete the following steps to import the predefined policies into TrueSight. This example is for importing the policies on a Windows system, but the steps are very similar as in a Linux system. After you have imported the extended repository, open a command line interface and go to the bin directory where the TrueSight presentation server is installed. Inside this directory is the CMA policy migration utility that is needed to import the policies from the extended repository. To import the policies, enter the following command. You can copy this command from the BMC Patrol for True Sites of Monitoring Wikispace by going to the topic Importing and Configuring Java and Operating System Monitoring Policies. After the utility has finished, you will see an acknowledgement that the True Site Presentation Server's Java Process and Elasticsearch Service policies were imported plus any additional policies that were automatically imported from the base repository. After you have imported the policies, we can see the list of predefined policies in the TrueSight Console's Infrastructure Policies page. There are three policies for Linux systems and three for Windows systems. These include one policy to monitor the local TrueSight Infrastructure Management Server running on a Linux or a Windows system, one policy to monitor the local TrueSight presentation server running on a Linux or Windows system, and one policy to monitor a remote TrueSight infrastructure management and TrueSight presentation server running on a Linux or Windows system. If you imported the extended or full repository, there is an additional policy for monitoring the presentation server's Java process and Elasticsearch service. Before you begin configuring an imported policy, it is a best practice to make a backup copy of the policy. This way, you always have an original copy of the policy in case you want to configure additional policies or if you make a mistake while you are configuring a policy. Next to the policy, click the Policy Action menu and select Copy. In the Create Monitoring Policy page, ensure that the Monitoring tab is selected. 
you can see that the policy name and many other elements are already defined in the General Properties and Patrol Agents section. The agent selection criteria for this policy is defined by using the TES self-monitoring tag. It is also required that this tag is defined at the patrol agent. This way the policy will be deployed on the patrol agent that includes this tag. For additional details about defining conditions for the patrol agents on which you want to apply the policy, click on the Help button. Enter a new name for the monitoring policy and click Save. You can see a message that a copy of the policy has been added to the infrastructure policy list and is ready to be configured. After you have made copies of any of the policies that you plan to use, you can configure them to work in your system. The local monitoring policies do not require any additional configuration. These policies are using the default patrol agent host and user credentials for monitoring the components. For the remote monitoring policies, there are a few parameters that you must configure for the Linux and Windows operating systems. Start by selecting the remote policy that you need to configure and select Edit from the Action menu. Next to the Monitoring Solution, select Edit from the Action menu. For the TSPS and TSIM hostnames, select Edit and enter the following parameters. The TrueSight Presentation Server hostname or IP address, and the username and password for the operating system where the TrueSight Presentation Server is installed. The user must have remote monitoring privileges on the remote system, as described in the relevant Operating System KM documentation. There are also additional details that have been configured for you as part of the predefined policies. These include network performance, manage, network performance monitoring, disk usage monitoring, memory usage monitoring, and CPU usage monitoring. There is also a list of processes that is used by TrueSight Operations Management. You can click on the action menu next to each process to configure it. Click OK to save these details and OK to save the changes to the monitoring configuration. For the JVM monitoring policy, you can monitor the presentation server's Java process and Elasticsearch service by completing the following configurations. From the JVM policy, select Edit from the action menu. Next to the monitoring solution, select Edit. For the TSPS and Elasticsearch environments, select Edit from the Action menu and enter TrueSight Presentation, the TrueSight Presentation Server's host name or IP address, the username, and password for the operating system where the TrueSight Presentation Server is installed. The port must be the JMX port number used by the TrueSight Presentation Server. This means the JMX port must be enabled on the server. Click OK to save these details and OK to save the changes to the monitoring configuration. After you have entered the policy's details, it is a best practice to associate your self-monitoring policies to a TrueSight group so that you can view them in one screen in the TrueSight interface. For each policy, click on the Server tab and enter a group name. Use the same group name for all of your self-monitoring policies. Finally. Verify that the policy's content is correct and click Enable so the policy will begin monitoring. Click Save. The system confirms that the policy is enabled and a check mark appears next to the policy's name. To see the result of the configuration, configuration steps we just completed, select Monitoring and Groups from the menu. Select the group name that was entered when we configured the monitoring policies. You can now see all the information for the components being monitored in this group. Click on the Monitor tab and you can click on the plus icon to view all the activities that are being monitored. Additionally, you can also view the associated events and devices for this group. Finally, for more information about the KMs used in these predefined monitoring policies, see the following topics.